Peace and prosperity be on to all who's listening and watching. It's your girl Shay Ma right and I'm back with another video. And guys, there's seasons of life where you're gonna encounter some things if you walk with Jesus, if you love the Lord. <laughs> If you're walking in your calling, you walk in your purpose, and you are annoying the devil. You are annoying the devil so much that he just won't enjoy your rise. He won't enjoy you stepping up, you stepping out. He don't want to see that. He wants you to feel defeated. He wants you to feel worthless. He wants you to feel like your life is meaningless. That's what the devil wants. The devil wants to make you feel like you're helpless. You're hopeless. Your life's depleted. But no, you're not. For God is with you. That anyone that is against you become against your God if you trust the Lord, if you trust Jesus. He said he may have turned your enemies into a footstool. He'll let them sit before your, before you at the table. He'll make a table of out of the enemies that you have so that they're sitting at your table. Jesus sat at the table. He had people at his table that were not his were not for him. They were enemies. There were people who were going to do things against him. But that is the setup, the table. Those who are before your table are going to help along the way are going to help your calling can you bless your enemy when your enemy curses you when your enemy says bad things about you when your enemy shoots an arrow at you to end your life when the enemy try to take your life early hoping you die hoping you die can you praise the Lord regardless of what you're going through can you be who God's called you to be despite the enemy, despite how angry he is, despite how defeated you may feel sometimes? You are more than a conqueror. You're not defeated. You're a child of the most high God. You are a child of the king. You're the child of the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the God of gods, the God of this universe. You are a God of the God. You were made in his image to be great. He was satisfied when the, by the seventh day, knowing that he created you. That says a lot. Because once he created you, he was done with creation. He rested after that. Once he created mankind and created them in his the own image, he was done with creating. He needed to do nothing else. He made himself. He blew life into the very thing that he was satisfied with. He left his spirit in everything. Everything is connected to God. Everything is God's. Nothing is divided. All things are connected. So when the enemy comes after you, when the enemy comes to take your life early, when an enemy comes to attack your money, your marriage, your career, to stop you, make you feel weak, make your spirit feel like it has nothing left, right? When your enemies rise in numbers, for great is the calling on your life, for great is the blessing on your life. For great is the hand of God covering you. God is with you always. There's no sorrow heaven cannot heal. There's nothing God can't fix. There's things in our lives that we don't always understand. God's testing your character. And moments of times where people are cursing you, when people are talking down about you, when people are talking down about other people, what is your character? Are you going to curse them back? Are you going to persecute them? How will you use your mouth 
to speak life over your situation. You can say, God bless, and simply leave the conversation alone and not say anything. Or you can simply not allow the enemy to use you. (laughs) God is testing your character. God is testing your heart posture. God is testing you. He'll allow your enemies to rise up against you. He'll let it be known. Your enemies have shown themselves. For your life is, the calling I place on your life is great. Will you trust me even when you're in the hand of the enemy? (laughs) Even when you're at the hand of the enemy, you should know that you still are my child. And I will let nothing touch the hair of your head. I will shave you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. I'm with you. God's testing us. Testing us how we're going to bless our, bless the person who curses us. Bless our enemies. Pray for people. Pray for our enemies. Pray for people who, who are atheists, who don't believe in the Lord. You know, how are you using your time to lift God's kingdom up? I know when I talk like this, the enemy gets real angry, but it's what I'm called to do, called to speak out. You might be angry, but I'm not called to serve man. I'm called to serve God. And I'd rather be at peace with my Lord than not at peace with him. I'd rather be at peace with my Lord than at peace with man. Because man didn't call me. Man didn't make me. Man didn't purpose me. Man didn't give me my purpose. God did. So, you can be mad. I'm still going to talk. I'm still going to continue to fight for lost souls. To talk about Jesus. To talk about how Jesus is good to me. I'm still going to keep speaking out. No matter how you feel like you've got me. I got you better. God bless you, my enemy. I love you, my enemy. I forgive you, my enemy. I know God will deliver you. I bless you today. I forgive you today.